Yeah. And we'll swim all the way. Hey, you little goose eggs. Squeeze on in here. Squeeze on in, goose. mere moments away from kicking off hot clown summer 2022 take that little link copy that little link go over to whatever social medias you like to hang out on <clears throat> let people know that's what i'm doing right now i'm saying live now hot clown summer 2022 baby and then plug the little linky poo right in there Post. Done.
I'm going down to Saratoga Lane. All right, Scooby Snacks, let's do it. That's not what we're trying to do. There's our friend Sandra there. Let's give that classic. This is your wake-up call. Time to reach. Go for it all. I've had over 40 pizzas in the last 30 days. Are you kidding me? I saw so many shoes out and I just went, why not me? Yeah. Airbnb. I'm and Jane and Duke and the Wicked What happened to you say Clown Posse and you're watching Clownvis to the Rescue. I thought you knew. Woo woo. And it starts right now. Oh. Guys, gotta keep up with me, cause we're going to the beach and setting ourselves free on cloud. Miss, come on! Welcome to the rescue. Hurry up! It's time to have fun in the sun all summer long. It's a hot clown summer, won't you sing along on cloud? Miss, come on! You slow pokes, I'm singing to you. Each and every one, I brought a noodle so you know we'll have fun on Cloud Fist. I don't need that noodle. Hey baby, let's all get in the groove. It's a Wednesday night. What's with the attitude on Cloud Fist? Clown Fist to the rescue you. It's all good. It's all in fun, so dive in the pool and try to love someone like me, Clown Bis. Clown Bis to the rescue. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Clown Bis to the rescue is live as we land. Smooth landing, baby. Right here, right now, we made it. We made it to the beach. Drop the towel. Got my Wally's towel. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I got my Wally's towel, so you know we're gonna have fun tonight. Uh, I'll tell you what. This is officially the first night of Hot Clown Summer 2022, and I'll tell you this, it's already a hot one. I'm already hot. 
I already need, I'm already telling you guys, I need to invest in a fan. And speaking of fans, look at this super chats from the fans. John W. Davis saying, hey, super chat for a hot clown summer. I thank you very much, my main man. Super chats are open, and uh, if you want to just sit and watch the show and not tip and chat, that's fine. I get it. I never I never tipped um, the Wink Martindale or whatever the hell I watched when I was younger. But I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, the most, uh, the, the least you can do is hit that thumb button right off the bat. Let uh, Bob YouTube, the guy in charge of all this, let him know that you appreciate the programming here at Clownless to the Rescue by hitting the like button, the thumb button, that bell, whatever you see, hit it, smash it, because this is the big time. Hot Clown Summer 2022. Hard to believe we made it this far, but we have made it and tonight we're taking the party over to squeebs tiki hut we're going to be drinking i don't know what squeeb is going to have a different drink for us every hot clown summer night here on the island happy to be back on the island feels good how are y'all feeling seaver thanks for the heads up man where would that be coming from we don't know hope it's not too bad seaver let me know if it's too bad. I don't think the, uh, I don't know what that is. Hey guys, listen to this. Hot Clown Summer 22 is here. And what we're going to do tonight is, uh, just get our toes wet. Just get started. Squeeb is at the, uh, Tiki Hut. Squeeb and Brainina both, I believe. Or I believe Brainina's in there as well. Uh, so in just a little bit, we will be heading into... The great wide open into whatever the hell it's called. Tweeb Sticky Hut. I know what it's called. I love it's my favorite place in the world. A lot of people saying clownness. What is hot clown summer? It's a state of mind. It's a vibe. It's an attitude. It's simply having fun as a clown. If you consider yourself a clown and it's hot outside, you're having a hot clown summer. So do me a favor, make sure you use the hashtag Hot Clown Summer all summer long on your social medias. We'll scour through there. We'll try to find your best clown pictures and we'll share them right here on Clown Vist to the Rescue. If you're having a good time in your kiddie pool and you happen to be dressed up like a clown, take a picture and use the hashtag and we'll get it on the show. All right? We do need uh, to find out what it was the... Um, Sleep Sticky Hut is making the drink tonight. But before we get to the drinks, let me tell you guys this. Oh, this is so nice, man. It's so nice to be at the beach. But let me talk about what I've done the last couple weeks. <clears throat> I didn't see you guys last week because we were setting up here. Uh, but the weekend before last, I was in Indianapolis and Fort Wayne, Indiana. Had an absolutely great time at uh, both of those places, the Black Circle and uh, the Brass Rail. If anybody was at those shows, you know what I'm talking about. Um, the energy was through the roof. Everybody was excited. I was excited. Uh, I was probably the last one there, kissing hands and shaking babies and all that jive. Uh, absolutely a wonderful time in Indianapolis. And then just last weekend, I was in uh, Milwaukee, in Hudahi, Wisconsin. And then the next night, I went to Springfield, Illinois, at the, at the night shop, which was an amazing time. Another two amazing shows. So that's four amazing shows in the last two weeks. And if you go back another week, that would be six amazing shows. Yeah, I've been doing shows every Friday and Saturday night. It keeps going back. Uh, and this weekend is uh, no different. So give me a... Uh, Real quick, before we get into the Tiki Hut, let me take you guys to the Clown Vest on the Road Camp. I'll be on the road all summer long on the weekends, and still a lot of stuff that we haven't announced yet, but this weekend, talking about Friday night, Friday night, probably the biggest city in the world, Nashville. Tennessee, what a place. I'm going to be at the Exit Inn, the legendary Exit Inn. Google the, Google the Exit Inn, that place is legendary. Uh, and I'll be there with my friends, the Beat Creeps. You see this cute little guy, that's Nick Roulette. He's been a friend of mine since I was a little little kid, little guy. 
Uh, and it's got a wonderful band here called the Beat Creeps. Get on out there. It's an early show. Starts at 7 o'clock, so get to the uh, exit in early. And uh, we will get in there, have a party, and then we'll go split. Then we'll go down to Kid Rock's um, barbecue joint and spend the rest of the night over there. That's Friday night. And then, if you got to follow me around, then you're going to want to follow me. Saturday night, I'll be in Atlanta. Hotlanta is what some people call it because it's hot. And I, I think I will call it that because hot clown summer, hot Atlanta. I'll be in Atlanta, Georgia on uh, Saturday at the Earl. I've been to this place before, and what a cool little bar this is, man. It's not even a bar because there's a bar, but then there's like a venue in the back of it that's very not very cool. And um, get yourself to Atlanta if you haven't been. If you've been saying I haven't been to Atlanta in a while, let's make that right. Come on out Saturday night. See Clownvis with Michael Myers and Gilbert Law Law um, Lyond, both uh, sensational guys from what I'm told. Live at the Earl in East Atlanta. What a cool town! Well, this is uh, that's the cool part of town. And then, of course, the, the uh, dates go on here. Some of these have passed, but Springfield, Wichita, St. Louis, Grand Rapids, Detroit, with some very special stuff we're waiting to announce in between some of these dates. So, uh, and then a lot more to come in the fall and the winter. But let's talk about this right now because this is exciting. Let's talk about the St. Louis show. I haven't told you guys much about what's going on, but this is going to be a big one. Making some official announcements right now about my St. Louis show on July 15th at the Red Flag. Opening the show is going to be the So Grand Polka Band. I love the So Grand Polka Band. If we get a chance, I think I got one of their videos I can show you guys in just a little bit. All right. Uh, they are so good, good friends, good musicians, and genuine polka. That ain't no hipster baloney. That's real polka. And comedy by who's this? Who's this little guy? That's right, Tim Convey. You might you might have seen him at the Funny Bone. You might have heard him on the radio, or maybe you know him as the keyboard player from Ludo. That's him. But he's not playing keyboards and singing pop songs at this show. He's doing his comedy and God is he good at it. He is a professional comedian to the ump degree and what a pleasure and an honor it is to have Tim on the uh, on the show on the 15th. Also, talking about pleasures and honors, the whole thing is going to be hosted by King Scott from the Rizzuto show. Uh, St. Louis's morning show on 105.7 The Point. Uh, you know King Scott. He is the um, he's the goofball. He's the funny one, the funny goofball on the show. Everybody loves King Scott. I love him. And he will be hosting the show in St. Louis. And as if this isn't, as if the, the polka band and Tim and King Scott and Clownvis weren't enough. You see that right there? A special appearance by the entire Clownvis to the Rescue crew. That's right. Brainina's gonna be there. Squeeb's gonna be there. Nuffnaf's gonna be there. If you wanna get out, if you wanna try and scramble and get a picture with us all, this is gonna be the night. This is gonna be the night. Get to St. Louis. Tickets are on sale now at redflagstl.com. July 15th, St. Louis, Missouri. This is a big one. That's a big one. Well, this is exciting, but not quite as exciting as what's about to happen. This is exciting, because right now, it's a hot clown summer, and old Clowny V is actually a little parched. And what's the best thing to do when you're parched? Are there loud ass waves back? Oh, I see what you're saying. Is that a loud ass word? Can we turn the uh, waves down? Sorry, there's a microphone back there. Is that better? Are the waves gone? Let me know if the waves are gone. Should be. Thank you very much. 
Uh, thanks for the heads up, Clump. All right, guys, when you're parched, when you're on an island, we got the waves muted. When you're parched, when you're on the island, what do you do? Where do we go? We, that's right, Matt S. in the comments, first one to get it. We hit the hut. Let's go to squeeze. <laughs> Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we are here now live. I can't believe we're back. It seems like just yesterday that we were here at Squeeb's Tiki Hut. Are you kidding me? Squeeb. <laughs> there he is. We're here, buddy. Look at this place. You're still not all the way unpacked, huh? Still got a little more cleaning up to do. Let's talk to Squeeb. Squeeb. Squeeb, I know you're busy. You're cleaning up the bar. You're working hard, but we are excited to be here. Squeeb. What's up, doggy? Hey, Squeeb, it's nice to be at your hut, buddy. How are we doing? <laughs> Clown, this everything is great, man. Happy hot clown summer 2022. Well, happy hot clown summer to you, Squeeb. <laughs> What's up, man? What are we doing? I'm already having the time of my life here tonight. And have I got a drink? For you. Oh, that's good. That's what I was saying, man. I'm parched. What is the drink? Well, this is actually a pretty simple drink, Clownbus, but I bet you've never had it before. A uh, simple drink that I've never had before? Well, it's a little tropical delicacy called a fagus. A fagus? Yeah, fagus. Fey goose. Yeah. Fey goose. 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 Yeah, man, it's called a fey goose. What is a fey goose? Well, Cloudus, what do you think is in a fey goose? I don't know. I'm not a bartender. What's in a fey goose? All right, man. It's Fago and Grey Goose. Uh, it's Fey Goose. <laughs> I got so it. So the question is, uh -huh. what flavor Fago do you want? I got Red Pop, I got Orange, I got Peach, and I got Cotton Candy. Uh, if we got them all, I'll take Orange. I'm an Orange Fago guy. Orange is my favorite. Really? I kind of thought you'd be more of a cotton candy guy. Why is that? Because I'm a clown? No. 
No, because you're fluffy and sweet. Yeah, because you're a clown. Come on, have a cotton candy fay goose. All right, fine. Make me a cotton candy fay goose. It sounds good. One cotton candy fay goose coming right up. <laughs> I'll get that right over to you, clown. Just have a ball tonight at Squeeb's Tiki Hut. Will do, my man. Will do. Gotta finish it up. I'm ready for the drink. Is that it? It smells good. It's great. It tastes just like... That's insane. It tastes just like cotton candy. And a little bit of... Grey Goose. It's a Fey Goose. It's a cotton candy Fey Goose. So if you have Fago uh, wherever you live, maybe run out, buy a bottle of booze and uh, a bottle of Fago, or a can of Fago. He gave me the rest of the bottle. So, uh, let's see how this Fey Goose hits us. That's going to go quick, Squeeb. I'll tell you right now, that's going to go quick. So, go ahead and start building up another one for me. But, that's not all. I'm not at this Tiki Hut alone. I'm not here with just uh, Squeeb Arino. We, uh, right across the bar from us here, are sitting with the one... The only Brainina95. Hey, Brainina. Hello, Clown Vis. Hi, Brainina. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Are you excited about this hot clown summer madness? Oh, boy. Am I ever. Chillin' at the Tiki Hut. Well, hell yeah. What's not to love about chillin' at the yeah, Tiki Hut? Yeah, I love hot clown summers. I feel you, Brain. You know, there's nothing not to love about this kind of stuff. We should, uh, we should jump into it. Let's do it. Let's have some Vegas and get crazy. <laughs> Let's have some Fagus and get crazy. I like your idea, Brainina. Brainina 95. But I'm not really going anywhere. I, I, I know. I know how this works. We're in the same room now. Okay. Okay. That's right, Brainina 95, hanging out at the Tiki Hut with us. Drinking Fagus live on a Wednesday night from Squeeb's Tiki Hut on an undisclosed island. Yes. Yes, get, getting, we're all lightening up, we're all lighting up inside. What are we doing? Oh, is this what you guys want? Let me see if this is what you guys want. Robber Dog is, uh, where is he at? He was here. Robber Dog, I saw him before the doors opened. Robber Dog is somewhere in the Tiki Hut, I thought. He was dr getting a little drink. Booty Muncha in the Super Chats. Showing the love, showing the support. And uh, there might have been one other Super Chat that I missed. I'm scrolling right now. Uh, but I think I maybe missed one. But thank you very much, Booty Muncha, for the solid donation. Hey, this is uh, what I want to tell you guys right now. We have for you some brand new merchandise specifically for Hot Clown Summer. Now, we are getting these things. What is today? Wednesday? We're getting them tomorrow. But then I'm leaving for uh, I'm leaving the island for uh, Friday and Saturday night. 
So none of this stuff will be shipped out until Monday at the earliest, but available to order right now at clownstotherescue.com. Boom. We got yellow Hot Clown Summer 2022 t-shirts that will tell the world what's up with your summer, which is having a fun Hot Clown Summer, and the highly sought after Squeebs Tiki Hut tank tops. Those are unisex tank tops made by Bella Canvas, some of the best some of the best tank tops in the industry. So uh, get yourself a tank top, get yourself a shirt. Clownvis to the rescue.com. Support Squeebs Tiki Hut. Support hardworking clowns. And support uh, yourself by wearing clothes that uh, make you look cool. Clownvis to the rescue.com. This is good. The cotton, uh, the cotton candy fey goose. In the flesh, the blondie tribute. Kara says, the fey goose is loose. The fey goose is loose. And it's loosening my bones. Go to clownvistotherescue.com. Loosen your bones with some new uh, clownvist stuff that I just showed you there. Plus everything else. We still got some foam fingers. We still got some yellow bandanas. We got a lot of stuff. ClownVisToTheRescue.com Thank you very much for those commenting on my outfit. It is good to be back in the winter. I'm not the winter. What is this? In the summer swing of things. What do you see? But my, uh... It's kind of like surfing. It's not much, but we try to match. We try to line up little outfits for you guys. Thank you very much. Clownvistotherescue.com for all your whatchamacallits. Your, um... What hey, a- Clownvist? What? Hey, man. I'm sorry to interrupt, on, buddy, what? but can you do me a favor? Can you get Rob a dog out of here? He's wrecking the place. What's going on? Why? What? what why is he wrecking the place? Drunk on marshmallows or something. He's just knocking over all the bottles. I think he wants these corn chips, but he can't open them. I don't know what his deal is. Can you just get him out of here? I, I, I don't know what you want me to do. Yeah, Robert Dog, come here. Come here, boy. Go to this. Come here, boy. Go to Clownbus, Robert Dog. Stop wrecking my tiki hut. Come here, boy. Go. Come here. Come here. Get out of here. You drunken mutt. Scram. He's kind of messing up everything, isn't he? All right, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll, I'll go get him. This would be a good time, um, I think, to watch this, which is a, uh, a video that is um, not very long, but gosh, this is just fantastic. Let me find it for you real quick because um, this is the gang that is opening up my uh, show in St. Louis, the So Grand Polka Band. You're going to love this song as much as I do. This is part of the Boom Boom Room, live from the Boom Boom Room series. That's my man, Brian McClellan, who's made a lot of videos with me. He's got a great series, and uh, this is the So Grand Polka Band from that series. You're going to love this song, and if you want to see him, you can catch him in St. Louis with me. Squeeb, I'm coming for another drink while we watch this.
wait until the girl starts singing. It's fantastic. You'll love it. Saratoga Lanes, the bowling I got to bail on it for time, but that is the So Grand Polka Band. If you want to watch the rest of that video, uh, find Blip Blap on uh, YouTube. Live from the Boom Boom Room is a series. Look for the So Grand Polka Band and catch them live opening the Clown Viz show on July 15th in St. Louis, Missouri. The So Grand Polka Band. Wow. There they are. I'm so excited about that. I'm so excited. Uh, the, the whole show is going to be fantastic. I guarantee it. Now, this place is getting a little crazy. I see it's starting to fill up. Is Robert Dog getting in a fight? Hold on. Stop that. Stop the music. I think, I think the security guard is trying to flag me down. Is he getting in a fight? All right, we're going to throw it to the Robert Dog fight cam. Hey. Hey. You got to calm it down, buddy. You got to calm... Hey, if you want the corn nuts, just take the corn nuts and go. I think he's frustrated because he can't open the corn... Hey, don't get in our face, Robert. No, I don't want to fight you. No, hey, ow. 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 Hey, I'm... come on! Get the... Robert Dog! Oh man, this place is getting crazy. This place is getting a little too crazy. I need some room in here. Squeeze! Squeeze! I can't even see Brainina 95. There's too many people in here. Got some cool friends. I gotta go outside. I'm taking it outside, guys. Hey, 
follow me outside. Come here. Come here, guys. Let's um let's take our time out here. Now that we're out here in the open, uh, beautiful air, the flare and the air. We can enjoy ourselves a little bit here, right? Oh, we can't enjoy ourselves too much. I got to talk about this. This is a special day in clown history. You might have seen me post about this today on my social medias. But it is worth mentioning. Uh, Today. You take a look right over here. Today, uh, June 18th, I'm sorry, June 22nd, back in 1918, that's like a hundred and something years ago, the Hagenbeck Wallace Circus suffered uh, the worst circus-involved train wreck of all time. Their, um, their, Their circus train crashed right outside of Chicago, killing at least 86 of their employees. A lot of them went unknown. If you see these graves they're showing, I shot this up there just the other day. I drove through it on my way to um, Bloomington. A lot of these unknown males, and uh, there was a couple of clown names I saw. It's a place called Showman's Rest is where they're buried in a mass grave. All the clowns, the trapeze artists, the strong men, the guys that put up the tents, a lot of them died. So uh, if you ever want to pay some respect to a, a, a huge, a huge plot, a huge loss, the Hallenbeck Wallace Circus train wreck, June 22nd, 1918. And here we are now, it's June 22nd, 2022. And uh, these clowns really gave it their all out there traveling before um, out there traveling uh, before air conditioning and things give me that sad music hey bring it in here I would like the, the, the leader of the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus who's coming back without clowns I would like them to go up to Forest Hills, Illinois, Forest Park, Illinois, I should say, and uh, go to Showman's Rest, walk those hollowed grounds of mass grave of circus people and clowns, stop by Baraboo, Wisconsin. I was close to there this weekend. I want the guy from Ringling to go to Baraboo, Wisconsin and see Circus World, see the Clown Hall of Fame, go down to Sarasota, Talk to the clowns down there. Go to Peru, Indiana, the Circus Hall of Fame. Talk to the clowns in that town. And look them in the eye, ringling brother. And tell them, hey, you guys aren't welcome anymore. Clowns, you did your time, you did your bit. Now, we're kicking you out. I want to hear from the horse's mouth. I'm calling ringling brothers out. I'm calling ringling brothers out on a plot full of dead clowns. Do you want to explain that to me? Do you want to explain that to me? This kind of looks like a Scarface shirt almost, doesn't it? (laughs) Google Showman's Rest if you want to learn about that. Um, It was a um, a, a really neat story. I mean, not a neat story. It's a, a terrible Terrible, disgusting uh, circus crash, but pretty fascinating stuff. Look at my TikTok. I made a TikTok about it. Let's just relax. I got a Wally sal. Wally's guy. I'm a Wally's guy. I'm a Bucky's guy. When I'm on the road, I want to stop at a big, fun gas station. 
So I'm happy that in this day and age, Bucky's are everywhere down south. And I'm happy now that Wally's are popping up around the Midwest. Get your ass to a Wally's if you haven't been. And a Bucky's. Bucky's is better, but I love them all. Thank you very much, everybody. Boy, it seems like uh, so long since I've been here because, well, number one, we're back on the island, and it's been an entire year. But also because we took last week off, and because I have been circumnav, circumnav, cir- cir- I've been going all around. And reminder: this week, Friday night, I will be in Nashville, which I should say. The Nashville scene, that is the paper. That is the paper in Nashville. The alternative rag. Uh, What is it? The Nashville scene has made me clown this. My show Friday night. Critics pick. Can you imagine? All the damn things going on in Nashville, Tennessee on Friday night. And the critic of the biggest newspaper in town says, You're going to want to go see Clown Shunny. You know how them critics talk with their hats and their press passes. They know what's up. The, the critics have their finger on the pulse of the scene. In Nashville, I'll be seeing you Friday night. And if you know what's good for you, listen to the critics. Get down to the exit inn and get there early. John Jerome in the Super Chats, thank you very much, my man. You are amazing. And our friend from In the Flesh, the Blondie Tribute, thank you for saying fight for the clowns that can't fight for themselves, clowns. That's what I'm always trying to do. Sticking up for the little clowns that don't have the gift of gab. Some clowns don't even talk. Some clowns just sit there and trip over shit. That's right, we're drinking Fagus. I'm just waiting to talk about the gathering of the Juggalos. I'm not saying anything. I'm just I'm waiting to talk about it. I'm excited. Everybody's excited. Summer holds a lot of things, and gosh, I'll tell you this, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you this, man. There is something even more exciting that I've teased a couple times, and I'm only teasing it again tonight. But next week... I should have some official products and things to show you guys. And then the week after that, we should be off to the goose lands. We should be off to the swampy goose lands after that. Because um, by all accounts, contracts are signed. Stuff's in production. There is a clownvis beer coming. But hey, enough of my yakking. This is a cool song. Whoop, I just stopped it. Why did I stop it? What did I do? What the hell happened? What happened? What happened? Oh. Got it. Sorry, it's a new setup at the island. Sometimes my fingers get a little... Sometimes my fingers do the walking. I'm selling live geese at the farmer's market. That's my secret. I'm a goose-selling clown. I'm a clown that wakes up early on Sundays and Saturdays. I get down to the farmer's market and I set up my goose cages. And I get ten dollars a goose. How much does a goose go for? How much does a live ass goose go for these days? Somebody Google how much is a goose? A live goose. I bet a baby live goose is pretty cheap. I don't want to buy one unless I can give it a good life. But looking at this beautiful moon, I could give a goose a good life. I could give a goose such a good life. Should give a, I should give a goose a good life. Hmm. 
I was going to sing a song for you guys, but uh, I don't know if I got the uh, right stuff for it. Oh, I do. Um, this is a song that I've um, I just wrote the other day. By the other day, I mean yesterday. So forgive me if I don't uh, nail it on the first time here, but it's one of those nostalgic songs. Not necessarily a hot clown summer tune, but a song that can strike a chord, maybe. If you're living in one of these new technologically equipped towns. I'm not a guy that wants to spend a lot of time looking back. Honestly. I'm a guy that likes the future. I like technology. But listen here. I know technology is great these days. And for all of that I give thanks. So I hope I don't sound like a geezer When I say I miss the tube things at the bank The tube things at the bank I never quite understood how they worked But you put in your money and your driver's license And you press a button and the thing got sucked through a tube The tube thing at the bank Oh, I know things are so much better these days But believe me when I say I miss the tube things at the bank The, the tube things at the bank Some people say they still got them. Some people say they still got the tube things at the bank. Not what I've seen lately. The world is rapidly changing. The world is melting before our eyes. Things are disappearing that we're going to forget we ever had. One of them is the tube things at the bank. Maybe they'll make a comeback. You got two things in the in Detroit. Missing the tubes. I just like watching it. I don't understand it. I don't know what technology goes into it. But I did look. God bless Amazon Prime. You can go to Amazon Prime. You can buy a tube thing for like 29 bucks. Not the whole vacuum system, but the actual tube thing. Get that? Might make a make a fanny pack out of it or something a clutch clutch make it a clutch thank you guys so much we got a big show next week uh so stick around for that also catch me this weekend and then so on and so forth guys it's never ending the clown train is only chugging higher and higher all winter long and when i say winter i mean summer i say things wrong sometimes that's not a crime. I'm allowed to say things wrong with as much as I yak on this place. Yakking off left and right. Goddamn robber dog fight cam. We'll do some shout outs. We got some good shout outs tonight. We were uh, off last week, so I got uh, probably a couple of shout outs there that are from last week, but uh, mostly new shout outs, good shout outs. Strong shout outs. Huh. That's right. Hey gang, it's me, 
clown -ness. If you don't know that, get your head checked. I've been doing this show 237 times. And before that, I was clown -ness around since, like, the dinosaurs were alive. Hey, check it out. This is cool. If you want to make a shout-out, it's a great way to support the show. This is a free show that everybody can watch. All you got to do to make a shout-out, check out this scroll below me. Send a $5 or more donation to the uh, pay addresses you see. Let me know what you want me to say. We'll make all your shout-out dreams come true. The first shout-out from sweet little Patty herself. Patty's saying, uh, here's a little bit of multiverse protection slash tiki bar tab. So I do, Squeeb, I have a certain amount of money on my tab is coming off, thanks to Patty. Patty owes that, not me. At least the two drinks that I had, Patty has to pay for. I wish you guys could taste this. If you have Fago in your town, if you have Fago at your gas station, Try to score a cotton candy Fago. Uh, and we're doing Fagooses tonight, which is Fago and Goose. If you can get Tito's or something, Tito's is probably a better vodka, make it a Fagito. Uh, or whatever kind of vodka you get. Fago and then that. Fago and vodka. When this is the first try with the cotton candy, I mean, good God, I said I was an orange man. I'm not an orange man, but I mean, I'm an orange soda guy. Hey, here's a shout out. Daniel Brannon simply says, nurturing malevolence. How do you say that word? Malevolence. Male male malevolence. I got to Google both of those words. Nurturing malevolence. I know nurturing is when you give a baby bird a worm. I think malevolence is when males fight. Fighting males. I don't know. Thank you, Daniel, for nurturing the baby birds. Harold Dufranski, Harold Dufraney coming in hot on a Wednesday night saying a Harold Dufraney shout out to Crystal Skelly for all the fun fan art she makes. Keep up the great work, Crystal Skelly. And I, for one, second that emotion. Hit that art bell for you, Crystal. Harold Dufraney again giving a shout out to the Coopster, Corey Cooper. Why? Well, because it's been too long since I shouted him out, and I hope you're doing well, my friend. Thank you, Harold, and thank you, Corey Cooper. I agree. The unofficial Clownvis Mafia. That's a gang of little rascals, a gang of little squirrels, a gang of little hobgoblins that learn to talk. The unofficial Clownvis Mafia sending healing vibes to our own beautiful maniac, Tabitha and her butt. Hope you get well soon, honey pixie. Kick that Rona right in the diak. Much clown love. Tabitha, feel better. We're all rooting for you. Brett Charles with a super chat. He is a guy with the power of a million men, Brett Charles is. Says super chat shout out to Brandon of Penny Jewels Barbershop in Burbank for getting my beard's summer coat clean and sharp. I got to say, man, I've been up to Burbank, and there are some cool places there. I can't imagine how cool Be uh, Penny Jewels Barbershop is. Penny Jewels Barbershop, Burbank, California. If Brett Charles is getting his beard trimmed there, I'd get a hot lather any day of the week. Wherever they're lathering up Brett Charles, they can lather me up. Lather me up and shave me in Burbank. Well, lather me up and shave me in Burbank. Thank you, Brett Charles. Thank you, Crystal. A personal shout out from Patty Rossier. Patty is a fantastic person. Patty says, shout out to Clem Ketchup Stain Treadway. Ken, as we both know, there is exactly one day of uh, the year in which I am nice to you. One day that I celebrate your presence on this planet. One day to show you grace and to be downright pleasant towards you. Unfortunately, that was yesterday. So your message today from the bottom of my heart, go lick Elmo's furry hole. Jesus Christ, who would say something like that? Who would make a clown say something like that? 
Uh, and remember, he loves you. <laughs> Bahiga! Biatch tiats. Catch you later next year. Much frog love, you cookle, cookie goblin buffoon. Where's my stuff? I just threw that in the ocean. We don't have my basketball hoop set up. I just threw that in the ocean. The unofficial clown, Miss Mafia, has a shout out. They want to wish good luck to our own junior ranger supremo, Tony Maloney, for that thing. The thing with the pants and the shoes and the flavor. Spice it up. Much clown love, Captain Brown Bottoms. You got this. I don't know if they're talking about him winning a dance contest or him pooping his pants, but either way, I respect it. Ooh, Michelle with one L. Michelle Mercer says, Congratulations to our own one-woman band, Little Erin, on her new single as an independent artist. I love Human Zoo, and I know everyone else will too. Love Crispy Shrimps. I will agree with that. I listened to Little Erin, who sings the song at the top of our show, Clown Miss of the Rescue. Uh, Little Erin has a, um, a new song out on her band camp. Go listen to it. Buy it up, put it on your Zoom or whatever the hell you have. It's great stuff, little Aaron. Human Zoo, check it out. Harold Dufraney saying a Harold Dufraney shout out to. Are you kidding me? Little Aaron! For the release of her new single, Human Zoo, available now on Bandcamp. Everyone should go listen. You won't be disappointed. Well, damn it, Harold Dufraney, I just said all that. One of us could have sat that round out. But together, Harold, me and you, we can give Erin the respect she deserves. She's small. She's about the size of my mouse. Not, she is about the size of this mouse, but I was referring to my pet mouse, which was so small, smaller than this. And it, di it, it died years ago. Too small to live. I had a mouse that was too small to live. It just couldn't even eat. It couldn't even get a pebble. It couldn't even get a, a food pellet in its mouth. Little Aaron's not that small. She can get a Cheerio in her mouth or something. You can give her some nourishment. But a small mouse? You're talking about eating particles. Hey, check it out. Here's a shout out from the man, Dan Windis. What's up, pal? Good to hear from you. Shout out. The summer has officially started with the opening of Squeeb Sticky Hut. Bahiga, and cheers to the windfish, Dan Windish. Imagine being the size of a mouse that has a mouth that can't even open big enough to get a grain of salt in it. That's a little ass mouse. Uh, this is anonymous uh, from a mystery shout outer, which is fun. I always love a good mystery shout out. A, sh a mystery shout out to Crystal Skelly. Crystal, happy hot clown summer and Bahiga. Wow, Crystal getting some love tonight. And I will second that. I will also say happy hot clown summer to you, Crystal Skelly. From Get Kitten. A big ass happy birthday shout out to the one and the only Patty Rossier. Is it Patty's birthday? Uh -huh. May all your chickens and rubber and uh, may all your bleh, bleh, may all your chickens be rubber and all your veggies be potatoes. Love, Kate. That's Get Kitten. That's fantastic, Patty. Happy birthday to you, Patty. Corey Cooper. Corey Cooper. Corey Cooper says, "I just want to throw out an early happy birthday to Patty Rossier. Damn." I'm so proud to call you my best friend. I hope your birthday is as amazing as you are out into the ocean. Can't miss the ocean. It's just right there. The unofficial Clavis Mafia would like to send an early birthday bahiga to our favorite cheese demon, Chetosaurus Rex, the wielder of shovels, the unofficial den mother of the Clavis Mafia, Patty Rossier. We hope you have a great day, Bahiga, and much clown love. That is the birthday of Patty happening June 27th, I now know. Happy birthday, Patty. 
Oh, check this out from Norbert. What's up, Norbert? Norbert's got some good shout-outs here, so listen closely. Number one, first and foremost, a big happy birthday shout-out in advance to Norbert's dear friend, Marilyn Kreese, up there in Asbury Park, New Jersey. I love it. Marilyn is celebrating her birthday this coming Monday on the 27th. That's the same as Patty's. Uh, so, Marilyn, happy birthday on the 27th. Love you, Mondo, from Norbert and from Clownmas. A lot of birthdays. Another one from Norbert. Happy birthday. Shout out in advance again to Patty. Patty was one of my first, uh, very first unofficial Clownmas Mafia friends that welcomed me when I joined the group. Patty is fantastic. And if you guys aren't a part of the uh, Facebook group, the unofficial Clownmas Mafia, Join it. I don't know if uh, Patty's not the ringleader there, but she is the overall den mother of these weirdos. And uh, there is so much love, creativity, and fun that happens at the unofficial Clownus Mafia Facebook page. And I got nothing to do with it. I don't promote, I don't advertise, I don't see it, and they're nothing. Got nothing to do with it. But it's a good place for you little squirrels to get your nuts out. Hey, check it out. Norbert has another shout out. Wishing you, Clownmas, and Squeeb, and Brainy in 95 and Nuff Naff, who's not here tonight, and Robert Dog, who's getting in fights, and Evan, who's also not here, everyone in the unofficial Clownmas Mafia, the best hot clown summer yet. Bah, he got to you all. Thank you, Norbert. And hey, uh, Amanda Elizabeth in the comments, I love you. Check this out. You want a good shout out? You want a shout out that is like taking some NyQuil? It's gonna help you sleep tonight? Listen to this. A shout out from Kelly and Ryan to Squeeb's Tiki Hut and another hot clown summer. I hope to see some of you folks at Red Flag. Why would they say that? Why would Kelly and Ryan wanna see you at Red Flag? That's because that's Kelly and Ryan from the So Grand Polka Band. That's right. It's that Kelly and Ryan, the Clownvis Mafia sweethearts, the Southwest Watson sweethearts. They're here all the time. We know them. We love them well. They wrote the Harold Dufresne song. This community loves Kelly and Ryan, and they are in the So Grand Polka Band along with some other amazing artists. That's why I showed the video. That's why I'm asking them to open my show. They are. I don't want. I don't want to say the next big thing, because I don't see them blowing up like a Christina Aguilera or something. Not to take anything away from them, but it's kind of a niche market. But if you like polka music and you want to see it done right, get out to uh, St. Louis on July 15th. John Shorney. Hey, John. Here's to power clashing this hot clown summer. I am going to, uh, I'm going out to the Lake Mitch mismatching in style. That's what we do. We try to power clash. I could use some more purples, yellows. But this is just the beginning, guys. We are going to do a lot of hot clown summering this summer. Couple more shout outs and then we're gonna wrap it up. This is one from Lauren Edwards, friend of the show. Lauren Edwards says, Dear Clownmas, yesterday was our dear friend Clump's birthday. Kenjamin, if you're nasty. Let's hope that ketchup slurping, beer snob, seltzer hating, super needy, cookie fingered fiend got enough attention. Really though, Ken, I love you, buddy. And I hope you had a good one. That was Lauren Edwards talking. Not bad. Oh, look, here's the clumpster himself. Clonk Treadway. Dearest Clownmas, Emily Fink volunteered me to suggest Squeeb's Tiki Hut tank tops this year. But I know you hate ideas and I would never be a part of that. Love your most best friend, Ken Treadway. Ken, you know I love your ideas. You know that when fans talk, I listen. That's why right now you can go to clownmasofthescue.com and you can buy a Squeebs Tiki Hut tank top just like you're talking about. And a hot clown summer shirt. 
Both those shirts come with free stickers. You get a free sticker every time you order a shirt here. And the Squeebs Tiki Hut hats are almost sold out. Small, 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 small handful. Less than 10. Very much less than 10 of the Squeebs Tiki Hut hats. So if you want one of those, get them quick. Go to ClownBusOfTheRescue.com tonight. Be like Ken Treadway. Tell me we need tank tops and watch me sell them. Ken, I'm looking at you now. As soon as I'm done here, I'm going to wrap it up and I'm going to go to ClownBusOfTheRescue.com and see if you order... If you ordered a, t- uh, uh, what the hell are they? Tank top. Tiki tank. Squeebs tiki tanks. I think the fake goose has gone straight to my head. Yeah, I think the fake goose has gone to my head. I think the fake goose has gone to my head. A couple more shout outs here before this fake goose comes out of my head. Spurting like a fountain, turning me into a fago gray goose fountain. Another shout out from Ken Club, Clumway, Clump, Clown Clue, Dearest Clownvis. A shout out to Patty Ross here and Lauren Edwards for sending me so many wonderful presents. They are nice girls. Love Klop. Klop is a good guy, and he does have a birthday, and people like him. Oh, look at this one. You want a solid shout out? Look no further than Angelo de Guzman. Clownvis, you're a clown of a guy. Everything you do is magic, and let me tell you why. Week after week, you bring us together. Your love is so strong and light as a feather. Your words are so smooth, just like John Denver. Have a good week, clown this I speak. That is good, Angelo de Guzman, God love you. Doing the after show chat with uh, Harold Dufresne and, and uh, Aaron um, and uh, others doing a great job. Thank you, Angelo. Clop Treadway again saying, Dears Clownvis, I have adjusted your bill. I added the two beers and the two personalized deliveries from the fun fan artist Zachary Cochran and Cassandra McCurdy. You are welcome, your bill saving best friend Ken. I will say this every show I've done since I've been back the last couple months, someone has come up to me at the merch booth after the show and delivered a beer. Saying, this is from Ken. And every time I say the same thing, I say, who the hell is Ken? And they say, Clom- uh, Ken Treadway. I say, oh, clomp, clip. Clump. The dirty clumpster, the clump of coal. Uh, and I got to say, that's a cool move. Ken, God bless you. If it really is your birthday coming up, I hope you get to eat some sandwiches and whatever you like. But I got to say thank you for uh, that's a that's a fun running gag to get a beer from Ken everywhere I go. Couple more shout outs. Mystery flavor in the super chats pointing out a very important thing. We need some more thumbs. We need to get the thumb train going. How can we do it? We got a few more shout outs. Then we got to get more thumbs. Aaron de Guzman, little Aaron, small enough, small enough to make a big impact, but not so small that she's going to die because she can't eat like my old mouse. You should have seen this mouse that I had. You think a sea monkey's small? Mouse couldn't even eat. But little Aaron's big enough to eat. She's small, but she can nourish herself. She says, clown this. Happy Hot Clown... <laughs> Clownvis! Happy Hot Clown Summer to the best clown and the best group of people in the entire wacky universe. I love you all, Bahiga. Well, little Aaron, we all speak your name and we are saying with a little salt, salt, salt granules and love that if you go to little Aaron's band camp... Little Aaron, let me know what the exact band camp is in the comments and I'll say it because I want everyone to go to her band camp 
Listen to her new song, Human Zoo. I believe at that band camp, you can also hear the Clown Mr. the Rescue song that you hear at the top of this. I believe that. I, don't, I could be wrong. But um, support little Erin. She's a wonderful singer. And she's small. Not so small she can't eat. She can. She's small, but she can unhinge her jaw and swallow things as big as a... Uh, what's about that size? Like a... One of them wax, wax soda candies. One of those wax bottles of soda. Mm. One more shout out that I'm going to read. Acapella. Oh no, we got two more, so I'll, I'll give it the goose. From Emily Fink, an old school Clown Miss fan. You want to go back to the beginning of this party at the uh, beginning of the Clown Miss to the Rescue Party? Jake Fink, Emily Fink, they've been there. They've been there, they've done that. Emily Fink says, Dearest Clowns, please take a moment to convey a celebratory early birthday wishes to our dearest Patty Rossier. May all your coming days, coming days, may all your coming days, coming days, may all you, may all your coming days be filled with your favorite things. And know that your steadfast friendship is always appreciated. We love you. P.S. Stinky loves you, too. That is full of love. One more shout-out. Happy birthday, Patty, from... Whoa, Jake Fink. I just said your name, and this is you. Uh, Jake Fink, happy birthday, Patty. Take this year off. I'll man the shovel for a while. Hey, shovel on a little more coal, Jacob, because Patty's taking a birthday break. My name's Clownvis. If you want to make a Clownvis, uh, what the... What do you call it? If you want to make a shout out on the next live show, all you got to do, all you got to do, drink a little fey goose and let a little magic fairy just come and talk to you, tell you what you might want to do to make a shout out. Clownus of the rescue.com. For all, for all your Clownus needs. Come on. All right, I got to get out of here. Come on. We got to get out of here. I got to get some sleep because I am leaving tomorrow night to make sure that I am in Nashville bright and early. Why? Because I'll be at the exit in on Friday night and it's a critics pick, Nashville. Don't sleep on it. Critics know what they're talking about. I'll see you guys Friday night in Nashville, Tennessee, Music City. Uh, and then Saturday night, Atlanta, Georgia at the Earl. Remember, St. Louis is July 15th. Get your tickets now. VIP tickets still available, but probably not for long. That gets you guaranteed uh, balcony seating, first in line for the meet and greet, and a clown with swag bag with some, exp- uh, what's the word I'm looking for? With some special shit. Uh, redflagstl.com for the St. Louis tickets. All ticket links can be found at clownvis to the rescue.com. My name's Clownvis. Your name's whatever the hell your name is. Do yourself a favor. Go find some Fago and Grey Goose and make a Fay Goose. That's good. Cotton candy Fay Goose. I love you guys. Matt S. Lenny in the Super Chats who I saw I went to Fairmont, Indiana. Believe me. Believe me. If I have a minute when I'm floating through these clouds to stop by and see a friend, you know I'm going to do it. I was able to stop by the James Dean Gallery uh, a couple weekends ago. Maybe last weekend. I don't know. But I was able to see my friend Lenny, who's in the comments. I was able to see Dave, um, uh, who who, who, uh, works at the gallery, been a friend of mine forever. And uh, I love you guys. I love you, Dave and Lenny. And Dave, I talked about your book before. If you haven't got his book, Make sure you're following the James Dean Gallery on Facebook. They got a great um, Facebook group, James Dean 
Gallery. And little Aaron once again has a new band camp we want to check out. Cassandra McCurdy, it was great seeing you in Kudahai, Kudahay, Kudahay, whatever the hell it is. I want to call it South Phoenix, but they, um, not South Phoenix. Hey, just wait. I'm only circumnavigating the Midwest and I'm already messing things up. Uh, Old Clowny V has the brain of a goldfish, but, but, Clown Miss Beer is coming soon. Well, Robert Dog still fighting in there? All right, guys, I love you. My name's Clown. Your name's whatever the hell you need to be. Make sure you like that. Uh, come on, I'm not leaving yet. I was going to leave. Stop the damn music. I was going to leave. I'm up here floating through the clouds like I'm goddamn Michael Landon. Give me four likes for for the Michael Landon reference. I'm not leaving till I get four more likes for that Michael Landon reference. Michael Landon is That's right, a teenage werewolf. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Everybody hit them thumbs before you go. It's free to hit the thumbs. You don't got a tip. I appreciate it. What you got to do, hit the thumbs for Michael Landon's sake. For the other guy from Highway to Heaven's sake, who we don't know his name, but he had a beard. He was an everyday Joe. Michael Landon. Uh, from Little House on the Prairie. There we go. I love you guys. My name's Columbus. Your name is Michael Landon. This has been a fun night. See you next week back at the Tiki Hut. play that poker video at the end one more time. Poker. For my own sake. It's like I'm in a handy, but then I'm, my head is uh, my head is So she starts singing. That's the she's just the best singer in the world. They're all the best musicians. But... They're all crazy. Look at them. They're all crazy. crazy that's what i'm trying to say they are all that polka band is crazy as hell look at them
Come on. Come on. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? It's the beautiful day in the neighborhood. Beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? Won't you be 